I have another half up style for you. I just feel like those are so classic. It's such an easy way to pull your hair up and feel like you did it a little bit without committing to doing a full updo. So this style is a knot half up style that is K-N-O-T. Um, and I break it down into three really simple steps. And that first step that you'll see is vital to making this easy to do. I like breaking things down to making each section of hair easy to work with. And that's what I do for this tutorial. So even if you have thick hair, don't be scared. You'll see how I break this down and it will be very easy to do. So this style can be done on straight or wavy hair, whether it's your natural texture of wave or you put some curls in it with a curling iron. I used a one and a half inch clamp curling iron from T3 for these curls. Um, and you'll need a duckbill clip or two. These are my favorite clips to use because they don't leave a crease in the hair and then a couple bobby pins. So these are all the tools you need. Start with hair that has a little bit of texture in it. If it's straight hair, run some texture spray or dry shampoo through it to give it a little bit of hold. And let's get started. Begin by sectioning off the crown part of your hair. Don't grab all of the hair from the hairline back. Start at kind of the top of your head and then go down to right where like a halo would sit on your crown. Section it off with a duck bill. And then once that is sectioned off, grab the hair that's left on both sides of your head in front of your ears. Pull it back, cross it over one another, and you will see I'll use two bobby pins here to hold this in place. It doesn't matter how these go in because they will be covered up. Then let down the duck bow clip and grab that section with your hands, making sure you don't leave any hairs out because that would be really difficult to hide. So once you have everything in your hand, all you'll do is tie it in a knot. Hold the hair a little bit away from your head so you don't start the knot too low. But you can see I'm just wrapping it and then I'll pull the ends through so I have a single knot. Then place the knot in the position you would like it, which is pretty much on top of the bobby pins. That should be your goal to cover those well. And then insert at least two, maybe more, depending on your hair's thickness, bobby pins right into the center of the knot, and those should be hidden very easily as well. To make sure the knot blends in with those first two sections you pulled back, go ahead and loosen the sides a little bit and loosen the hair above the knot. This will just help it blend a bit. It won't look like the knot sitting on top, and this is the final result. So that's the final look. I hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial. If you recreate it, I would love to see it. Go follow me on Instagram. I am K8 underscore small things. And if you post a picture of yourself using any of my tutorials, whether it's curling, flat ironing, any of the up styles or half up styles I've created, post the picture and then use hashtag small things hair so I can come check it out.